Hey guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your machine, um, how to remove your previous video card and update to the latest and greatest. In this case, the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti FTW3 Gaming 11 gigabyte ICX card. Okay, so I'm first going to show you how to remove your previous video card in case you're upgrading. And then it's kind of the same thing, but I'll talk you through it. How to install a card if you're building a brand new machine or maybe upgrading from onboard video. So again, the card in this video is going to be the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti FTW3 Gaming 11 gigabyte card with EVGA's ICX technology. So anyway, let's get a little closer so I can show you where to start here. In this case, I'm first going to be removing the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX570 video card. So first off, uh, in your case, it might be different from mine. Most have two screws right here holding the card down. On this particular case, the Cougar Panzer, the screws are on the back. So first off, we're going to go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, now that we have that removed, we're going to remove the PCIe cable. So to do that, let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. Okay, so to do that, you'll notice there's a little clip right here. In order, you can't just pull that out because it's not going to work and you might end up damaging the, the plug itself. So we'll push down on this little clip and you'll notice this goes up right here push down and then that's it comes out really easy and you just drop it there so let me go ahead and zoom out okay so now you can't just pull out the card because it's not going to go anywhere there's a little clip back here let me go ahead and zoom in on that for you okay so in order to remove that card this little clip is holding down this card it's a little kind of retention mechanism here so we'll just push down here and now we can hold the card and pull it out and that's it the card is out so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna push it back in and as I push it back in you'll see this go click kind of locking it back in place okay and now I'm gonna zoom out and I'm going to do that so that you can see just how it's done. See, it came out really easily. Okay, so now I'm going to put that card aside. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so that you have a better understanding, first off, on how big that card was. So just so you can remember, this was till right around this line on the EVGA Z270 FTWK board, the heatsink right here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to install the new card so you can see just how big it is. All right, so here is the other card. Hold on, there's more. Just wait, there's more. Hold on, wait, wait. Oh, there's the rest. And now we'll go back this way. Hold on. Yeah, there's, yep, yeah, wait, hold on. There's some more. Yep, yeah. okay, there we go. Okay, now before you put the card in, make sure you remove this. This protects that from the grease and oil on your fingertips. So now, it's kind of the same way we took uh, pulled the other, other one out, we'll push this one in. So the way I do it, first off, I keep all of these on there just for now. These uh, protect the HDMI and DisplayPort and DVI connectors from getting dirt and you know just getting messed up altogether. I slide all those in there. All these right over here help you to slide it right in here as well. That way you know you have the alignment correct and then you would align them right here to the PCIe slot and then push it in. So I'm going to raise the camera just a bit and actually I'll do that right now. First off, I'll put the card in And 
and then just okay so the card is installed so now what I'm going to do is so that you've seen that general idea of how to do it I'm gonna pull the card out and then show you how to align it in the PCIe back here and just so that you see how they are aligned back here everything falls into place pretty well okay so again I'm gonna zoom in back here alright so then here we go and another thing to make sure you have it right these little guys right here there is a little slot back here in the back of every motherboard so that where these slide into that way you know you have them in the right place so first off I'm just going to align it so that it slides in correctly okay so then back here let me zoom in. Okay, back there, you'll notice as I'm sliding this in. All right. And it kind of, again, locks in place back here. So now, okay, now that we've done that, we can just come around the back. And let's go ahead. Now, the reason I did that before I screwed it in is you might get one of these little lips right here caught under one of these and then you won't be able to pull it out unless you pull the actual video card out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and screw these in. Perfect. So now all we need to do is plug the two pin, two eight pin PCIe connections in. So in my particular case, the video card only had six, uh, a six pin PCIe. Thankfully, this power supply has four six plus two pins, which of course makes an eight or two six uh, plus eight pins. So because I've used this power supply before, and that was a clip I removed, a uh, zip tie. So this is a six plus eight. So all I do here is just put that back together, just like that. And now I have, all right, and that's one. And now we have to pull out another one right over here. Now this video card requires a 600 watt power supply. So just make sure that your power supply has two by eights. If not, if it has two, uh, four by sixes of PCIe uh, connections, EVGA includes two, two connectors that'll take two six pin PCIe's into a single eight. Okay, so now all I need to do is just clean up this cabling. And aside from that, the card's installed. Now all we need to do is install the video drivers. You can just grab those off of nvidia.com or even EVGA has them on their website. But after you install that, everything should work. Now, if you have AMD drivers, already installed or maybe uh, older NVIDIA drivers. It is recommended to uninstall those uh, video card, those drivers before you install these newer ones. If you have a big jumble of mess of video drivers, I recommend downloading DDU. That's the uh, display driver uninstaller software. Pretty nice. I'll go ahead and actually link it in the description below as well as a link where you could purchase or lease 
one of these EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti FTW3 gaming cards. Uh, again, this guy has got ICX, so I'm pretty excited about that to see how exactly how that works. But anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger. Again, showing you guys how to install the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 FTW3 Gaming Edition, the 11GB ICX card. Iggy with Dragon Blogger up. See you guys.